Hi everyone, hopefully this works. I have no idea. Phone signal and Wi-Fi in Banff has been a challenge. And that seems to be the theme of this entire like, little stint of travel we've got. But I just thought I'd come live to you from um, Banff. Sorry, I'm getting off the uh, several crossing because I'm stuck in traffic. Uh, but I just thought I'd come live to you from Banff. We are just about to get um, a bus to Lake Louise for the day um, just to explore. We both a little jet lag, I'm not going to lie. We were up at like four in the morning, but that did allow us to do some um, sunrise, which was really, really special. So we got to kind of wake up um, and do sunrise. Not the best weather for sunrise, just quite overcast. Look at this pleasant view. Like, oh, how incredible is that? And the great thing is as well, and what I don't think you can show in just one picture, is that's not just like the view. It's literally all around you, everywhere you look. You're surrounded by absolutely gorgeous snow-capped mountains. And again, this is just one part. <laughs> Look at it, it's just gorgeous. So this is kind of the main high street anyways. It's the main road through Banff. And this is like the post picture view anyway. It's kind of looking down the road to see these two mountains at the top of the bottom. Um, and then our hotel is kind of a few bucks over. It's all incredibly walkable, so you get to kind of walk around quite easily. It's taken us like literally five minutes to walk from one end to the other end to get to the coffee shop we went to this morning. Um, so Phil does have gluten-free bagels. Um, but we are now literally just heading to the transport hub just up the road bend to kind of get an hour-long uh, coach for about 10 Canadian dollars, or about, say, six, seven pounds, um, to go to uh, Lake Louise, where we're going to go see the Fairmont in Lake Louise, where we were originally planning to stay, but COVID kind of decimated um, our funds, so that didn't happen. Um, so we didn't get to stay there, but we're going to go visit it for the day. Apparently the lake's frozen, so I'm actually really looking forward to that. Um, Weather-wise, it's about 10 degrees, so it's not too cold. It's not freezing by any stretch of the imagination. Gets a bit nippy in the evenings, but then again, you can't see any here where we are. But the next street over, there's loads of like little fires or gas fires all down the street. So kind of, and you don't necessarily have to be eating in a restaurant to get that either. You can just literally sit down in the area nearby um, and use one of the gas fires and just kind of warm up for a little bit. But again, it's not, it's mild, to be honest, at best. I'm just going to walk a little bit further up, actually, see if you can see down the side street as well but yeah and this is kind of some of the shops you've got you've got loads of like little boutique and artisanal shops obviously the usual touristy uh, merchandise brand wear shops loads of food places I, i'm quite impressed by the range of food like you've got indian food uh, chinese sushi obviously you've got local specials like poutine as well uh, just so much choice of food i'm actually quite surprised how much food options there are um, it's a little expensive, but not unreasonably so type of thing. Um, just again, bear in mind you are up in the mountains, so I guess that supply chain and things like that. But it's all really good quality. It's all local, artisanal, it's all locally made, fresh and prepared. Local meats, local food, wine, beer, ales, all that type of stuff. So really good quality. Just, yeah, a bit of a premium for that. So again, just so you could put on the crossroads. And again, just to say, I'm not exaggerating things to use, but like down there, more mountains. <laughs> it's just mind blowing. Yeah, I don't want to lose Phil because we haven't got um, phone signal over here on our two of our phones. <laughs> so um, we keep getting separated and then keep losing each other and can't find each other because we've got no phone signal to call each other, which is really helpful. So we're trying to keep each other in range to make sure we don't get lost. Uh, so I'm not going to go wandering off and show you like I usually do get lost. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd quickly do a quick hello to everybody and a quick live here from Banff. Uh, we are here till tomorrow, then tomorrow we're doing Rocky Mountaineer where we get to do two days on Rocky Mountaineer, stopping off in Kamloops for a night. Ends in Vancouver, then we have an overnight in Vancouver, and then we join then the um, Holland America Conning's Dam, where we do a seven night inside passage cruise then through Alaska. Um, then we come off that and then we stay in Vancouver again for a night as well. Um, so we just have kind of a little bit of time there. We really nice trip actually breaking all up, but again, just Spoilers for views, like honestly, absolutely gorgeous. So yeah guys, other than that, I'm gonna go now because we need to go get this um, coach or bus to Lake Louise. Um, probably if I can get signal there, like I say, signal has been a gift to this trip so far. Um, but if I can get phone signal, I will try and go live in Lake Louise and share a little of that with you. But just leave you with again, how gorgeous these views. <laughs> haven't got tired of them, honestly. It's been 24 hours almost. And still in love with every single of you and every single angle in Bath. Absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, all the best guys. Take care. Bye.